your practice video today. Bienvenue à votre vidéo d'entraînement. Aujourd'hui, on va regarder la quatrième position avec aussi la première position. Today, we're going to look at the fourth position as well as the first position and how they relate together. We're going to be talking about octaves, unison, and just talking about the mirror that we have between the first and fourth positions. Donc, on va parler des octaves et les unisons, et aussi la relation entre la première et la quatrième position. We're looking at two different books today. So the first one is Jeanne Violoncelliste, numéro 20, number 20, study of neck positions. So it says, after the first position, we begin the study of the neck positions with the fourth position, which is the most easy because the left hand finds a fulcrum on the left side of the cello. And secondly, the fingering of the fourth position is the same as the fingering of the first position. Donc, après la première position, nous commencerons l'étude des positions du manche par la quatrième position, qui est la plus facile, parce que la, un, la main gauche trouve son point d'appui sur l'église gauche du violoncelle. So, right here. Le doigté de la quatrième position est le même que celui de la première, mais l'octave supérieure. So that's what the Jeanne Violoncelliste says about fourth position. And this other book, Position Pieces by Rick Mooney, also talks about knowing all the notes that you're playing hor horizontally and vertically. First, we need to know all the notes that we are playing. D'abord, on doit savoir tous les notes qu'on joue. Donc, la deuxième corde, la corde de ré. Mm les notes sont mi fa fa dièse sol fa dièse fa mi donc juste répète ça dans ta tête ou autre fois mi fa fa dièse sol fa dièse fa mi so e f f sharp g g f sharp f e so we always have that octave with the fourth finger with the string next to it. On a toujours un octave avec le quatrième doigt et la corde à côté, um, la corde grave à côté. So go ahead and play first an open D, un Ré ouvert, et un Ré avec le quatrième doigt sur la corde là. And D with the fourth finger on the A string. four fingers across to the D string. Tous les doigts maintenant sont sur la deuxième corde. Joue un sol ouvert. G open G and G on the second string. And now we're going to move all the fingers. Make sure you're pushing down with all four fingers. And as you move over, the forearm follows. So the elbow follows the little finger to make it long enough. And then we're going to play an open C string. On va jouer un ré do ouvert. Et maintenant, do sur la corde de sol. Avec le quatrième doigt. So we're in first position still. We're just kind of getting a handle on the notes here. Tout ça est met toujours en première position. So we were saying earlier, E, F, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, F, E. Let's move across to the G string, la troisième corde. On a La, Si bémol, Si, Do, Si, Si bémol, La, A, B flat, B, C, B, B flat, A. And just to go over it, the C string, that called the Do, the quatrième chord, Ré, Mi bémol, Mi fa, Mi, Mi bémol, Ré, D, E flat, E, F, E, E flat, D. So, and we didn't go over the A string because it's not in this, but we will say it anyway. B, C, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, C, 
do, do dies, re, do dies, do, si. So just familiarize yourself with that. Each finger is a semitone, and don't forget there's a semitone between B and C and E and F. But everywhere else, if you go from a natural note to another natural note, it'll be a whole tone. So for example, C to D, there's a C sharp between. Donc, rappelle toujours qu'il y a un demi-ton entre le si et do et le mi et fa, comme un piano, les deux clés blanches un à côté, à côté de l'autre. So now we're going to play each finger on the D string, but jouer tous le, les notes sur la corde de Ré. to fourth position and here we have that octave between the first finger and the first finger here and it's going to be the same fingers for E F F sharp G F sharp F E Mi Fa Fa Dies so. We're going to try it with the metronome. No, but I see a big metronome. So nice and slow. Okay, so two tons for each note. Three, four. Deuxième corde. C'est parti. Trois, quatre. sur la corde de sol en première position. The third string in first position. We'll review the notes. A, A flat, B, C, B, B flat, A. So just say that a few times in your head. La, Si bémol, Si, Do, Si, Si bémol, La. To find your La pour trouver ton, for, to find your A pour trouver ton La, commence toujours avec un corde ouvert. Always start with the open string to find your note. And that's a perfect octave. So, just go over the notes first. La. Si bemol. Mi flat. Mi natural. Si. Si in French and English. Do en français. Now play 
right, find your A in fourth position. You can play it with your open A to find it. This is the exact same note, so it's a unison with your open A string. On trouve ton La sur la deuxième corde en quatrième position. La, A, B flat, Si bémol, B, C, and Do or C in English. B, B flat, Si bémol. matches your open string. Okay, now we'll try it with the metronome. So, three, four. Donc on a on est déjà appuyé sur la la sur en quatrième position. Three, four. Première position, first position. Donc, trouve ton ré avec ton ré ouvert. Find your D with your open D string. And yeah, first, we'll just go over the notes. So, D, ré, Mi bémol, E flat. Make sure you're pushing really hard with the left hand. Sur, avec la, la main gauche. Mi, easy. Troisième doigt. And fa, fourth finger for us. Mi. Mi bémol. And ré. Try to play it a little faster if you like. Find it in the fourth position. Tout ton ré ouvert. Play your open D. D on the third string. Ré sur la troisième corde. Ré, D, E flat, Mi bémol. Mi, troisième doigt. Fa, F. Start with your open D, three, and find your lower D, trois, quatre.
five, find your D, three, four. <laughs> exercise we're going to try to play them a little bit more back to back just to get used to shifting between the positions donc on va essayer d'enchaîner les les mouvements de la main donc on va jouer un peu plus vite et deux fois la les quatre notes ici et puis deux fois en haut. Donc, ça va être enchaîné. I'm going to go straight from one to the other. A little faster. And let's try also, if you are able to, we'll try with slurs. So make sure that you're always thinking about what notes you're playing. N'oublie pas de toujours savoir les notes que tu joues. Donc ça va être 54. Tu veux savoir. C'est parti. 3, 4. familiar with these notes here. Maybe in fourth position you did the first three strings because we did these three strings here and then different three strings here. So now we're going to explore a little bit more. That's just to get you acquainted. So now we're going to look at the fourth position in the position pieces book. So if you don't have this book I highly recommend getting it. Position Pieces for Cello by Rick Mooney. 
Donc, je recommande vraiment beaucoup ce livre. Uh, C'est vraiment bon. And so, has these exercises, a geography quiz, and a bunch of pieces. So you can really familiarize yourself with all the positions in the cello. So we're going to look at, this is page 29, and we're going to just look at the second line here. I'm going to just skip the top line for now. Maybe in a different video we'll try these, but we're just going to focus on fourth position. So, uh, so second line. If you don't have the book right now, that's fine. But it is a good idea to have the book. Donc si tu n'as pas le livre, on, ça va, on va toujours, ça va être facile à suivre mes directions. Mais je recommande toujours avoir le livre pour le long terme. So basically, what we're doing, so it's similar to the other one, where we were checking with the open string next to it. C'est presque pareil que l'autre, on vérifie la première doigt avec la corde à côté. Donc si tu as la première doigt sur la deuxième corde ici, ça c'est un LA. Et joue un LA ouvert. Et ça devrait être la même note. So we're going to alternate with, between those and then put your second and third finger on the C string in the same position. And play it, first play an open A. And then play your third finger on the C string. Also an A. You might have to bring over your first finger too. Otherwise it could be... You might move the note up depending on your angle of your finger. So do whatever you need to do. Maybe it's bringing your arm in front a bit more and playing on the outside of your third finger. Donc ça va peut-être être... Necessary to put the first finger on the fourth finger. But you can always see how it does when you press the two fingers to feel the distance. But you might have to bring it over. But you might have to bring it over. Okay. So if we're going to play two open A's. We're going to play two open A's. We're going to play two open A's. First finger is on the second string, the A. We're going to play the open A again, two times, pour la, la ouvert, and then A on the C string in the same position. We're going to do that a few times. So three, four, open A. sur la quatrième corde, sol ouvert, et sol sur la première corde, qui est sur la première corde. Donc, nous allons explorer tous ces différents G's. Donc, prenez un second pour vous familiariser ici. Et puis, nous allons essayer une fois de plus avec le métronome. 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 
les deux octaves parce qu'une octave sera le sol ici en première position. So that's actually the G here on your first string is two octaves above the G, open G. So we also have a G on your second string and your D string. So take a second and play all those three G's. Open G, G in first position. That's octave. Play them together if you can. Now G on your A string in fourth position. Sol sur la corde la en quatrième position. Alterne avec la sol ouvert pour vraiment mieux entendre la note. Okay, so we're really getting into the unisons and octaves. Now we'll do the last set. So open G, G on the C string. Those are unisons. Open C, Do ouvert. And Do sur la deuxième corde. C on the second string. D string. So G. The metronome. Three, four. without stopping and I'll just so sort of make sure you say the notes in your head or out loud but I'm just going to play okay so find your first note la la sur la corde de ré en quatrième position A on your second string three four Playing the open string. Quand je joue la, la corde ouverte, mon doigt est déjà appuyé sur la corde. Donc, pas seulement juste toucher la corde, mais on appuie. So, make sure you're actively pushing on the string while you're playing your open note. It's really important to develop a stable hand and to secure 
uh, your position. So while you're keeping the string down though, make sure you're not clenching. It's the worst thing you could do. So kind of like yoga, you're in the position where you have to breathe and relax into it. So you'll see here open. It's already pushed down, so instead of, it's, it'll give you more chance to have a, a wrong note if you push it down and play at the same time. It's just too much. So take the chance. And then while you're playing your open A, you anchor from the first finger and put down the three. So that with your arm position should be helpful. So you don't want to move around too much. OK, so make sure you do the geography quiz. So you really know inside out your fourth position. Last but not least, we'll play page 31 in the position pieces book called Church Bells. <laughs> play each note with two beats because they're all eighth notes anyway so donc chaque note va avoir deux temps juste pour le faire lentement la première fois et puis la deuxième fois je vais jouer l'accompagnement so second time through I'm gonna play the, the accompaniment
Sure. thing we're gonna do is is play a mirror in between first position and fourth position so before we did the octaves now we're gonna do just a mirror okay so we're doing the same notes in both positions les premières notes vont être la, si, do, si, la. Et puis on va le, les jouer en quatrième position. La, si, do, si, la. Donc n'oublie pas, il y a un ton entre la et si, si. Et si et do sont un demi-ton. La, si, do, si et do, si, ici, sont un demi-ton. Donc A, B, C, B, A. A, B, C, B, A. Then D, E, F, E, D. D, E, F, E, D. So we'll try to do it slow enough that's not it'll be easy to follow along with <laughs> Thank you. 
side of your third finger. Again. was an introduction to fourth position. Now your fourth position will be much more solid and you'll know all the notes you're playing and you'll be able to switch back and forth in between them. And then you'll be able to do many more exercises a lot easier once you know what the notes are. Thanks for watching and see you next time.